I should just change my name to The Collector. Wait until you guys see the key issue comics I've amassed since 2016. What's up guys, welcome back to J Rule Productions. Welcome to a very rare episode of my most valuable comic books 2017 edition. What you are about to see are comic books that I've amassed from Craigslist, half price books, thrift stores such as Goodwill and Value Village, along with comic book stores. So I've stored them in these um, BCW. Backing boards along with Ultra Pro resealable current size comics, and I've put them in these um, awesome BCW uh, comic book or magazine storage, and also in these huge binders. So it keeps it flat and keeps it from bending, and it's also a great way to show it off. So without further ado, let's get started. Oh, by the way, the criteria has changed. It used to be fifty dollars or more, but now I've lowered it to $20 which are also consists of if they are highly sought after key issues first appearance or first cameo and just going for a nice price on eBay hope you guys enjoy it don't forget to subscribe all right let's go all right guys so this is probably gonna be the best view possible here we go we have a mate spider-man number 238 this is in the shadow of evil's past I believe this is a special hobgoblin uh, feature so um, I'm not gonna remember all the key issues or what it is about so there's it's in here for a reason guys so hit me in the comment section so we can all share our knowledge and we have the classic Amazing Spider-Man 252 with his uh, black costume so you know um, swinging through New York introducing the new Spider-Man I believe that's the uh, Right, Venom, Symbiote, first appearance for Amazing Spider-Man. And on the right, we have the very first appearance of uh, Silver Sable, I believe. The Fox is back. Also in the Black Venom costume. One of my favorite uh, series during that time. That's number 265. It's back in the 80s. So I have doubles of that. So I was very fortunate. And this is the Amazing Spider-Man number 289. This one is the Hobgoblin review. It's the... Uh, New Hobgoblin, that's played by Ned Leeds, I believe. Oh, yes, so I got doubles of that. I believe I got these. All of these are from Craigslist. Yeah, so far it's from Craigslist. And this one is from my own private collection. This is number 290, uh, when Peter Parker asked the big question for Mary Jane to marry him. And here we got, this is the one that I bought. The Amazing Spider-Man number 344 with the very first cameo of Cletus Cassidy before he became Carnage. And this one I got from 25 cents clearance recently from Half Price Books. Amazing Spider-Man 361. I remember as a kid when I bought this. I actually this one is uh, slightly not the greatest condition, but this one I got from the clearance section of Half Price Books. All right, and this is the one from my own private collection when it first came out very lucky to get two copies and this is from half price books the main spider-man number 529 the very first spider armor appearance as you guys if you guys watch that spider-man homecoming near the end um, Tony Stark gives Peter Parker the new costume and he pretty much rejects it so this is what it's gonna be all about it's pretty awesome got that from half price books and another one from half price books and this is the first printing Amazing Spider-Man number one, the volume two. This is a Sun Purse variant I got from Half Price Books for just the cover price, half off the cover price. This is the variant cover and it's harder to find. Very fortunate to get this one. I've always wanted it. This is the Amazing Spider-Man number 36, volume two, 9-11 after September 11 special, all black cover. Basically, there are no words inside the comic, but all it does is pay tribute to what happened pretty awesome that one I got from Hasbro Prize Books it is the main Spider-Man second print variant harder to find 569 with the very first appearance of anti-venom 
pretty awesome, doesn't he? I love that design though. And this one got the half price books, number 601, with the um, Jason Scott Campbell, Mary Jane variant, what, Mary Jane cover. Very nice art. And number 606 with uh, Jason Scott Campbell again. Looks like Sp Spider Man is kissing Black Cat while Mary Jane is being jealous in the background. And check this one out 607, Main Spider Man with um, the Black Cat wearing a Spider Man 90. Pretty awesome. And this one is the 611 with the. Oh, I forgot who the artist is. Scotty Young. That's right, Scotty Young. This is the the variant with a Scotty Young cover with Deadpool. Avengers. Now we're moving on to Avengers number one ninety five. I forgot what this is special. It's a very first appearance of somebody. I want to yellow jacket, perhaps. I'm not sure. But anyway, this is the nineteen eighty comic, right? And we have the very first appearance of Taskmaster. Number 196. By the way, I have another copy that was that one was in horrible conditions as well. That's why I'm not even keep it in here. Alright, we have a giant size Avengers number four. Uh, 68 pages, big pages. This one is the very first appearance of or the wedding of vision. No, that can't be it. It's gotta be something more important than the wedding of vision and Scarlet Witch. And I believe this is Avengers number 10 annual. I believe that's the very first appearance of Rogue. I happen to have doubles of that. Oh, I forgot to mention about these. All of these I got from uh, Craigslist. And, this. and check it out, man. Very lucky to get this because I would have skipped it had it not, I not seen the variant edition. This is the MNL Mighty Avengers number 3 variant. Very rare and hard to find, guys. I got that from Half Price Books. Bam! Can't beat that deal. Batman number 400, the anniversary issue. This one I got from Craigslist. Batman 612. You guys know what's the cover? Yes. That leads to the Batman vs. Superman movie. Uh, I believe that's the movie what it was based from is that story. Number 612, and I got that from Half Price Books, 25 cents clearance. Batman, number one, I believe that's the third or fourth printing. I believe it's fourth with the red cover. This one I got for, you know, the Half Price Books deal. This one I got from Craigslist Hall. It's the Brave and the Bold versus Ecl Batman versus Eclipso. Quite old. It's number 64. Is it because of the very first appearance of Eclipso? Hmm. I might have to Google that. And of course, Captain America number 360. Um, it's the very first appearance of Crossbone. Moving on, this is Captain America, Ed Brook Baker, Steve Epstein. Uh, number one. Captain Marvel number seven. Uh, Craigslist Hall. Half price book haul. This is the first full appearance of Miss Marvel. Not the cameo though. Well, there goes the A section. Alright, let's go ahead and check out the D's. Daredevil. Speaking of which, I am watching the Defenders. I have to admit, it's not all that exciting. This is Daredevil number 168 with. Um, is it the first appearance of Elektra? It might be. I believe it is because I happen to have doubles of that. And these I got from a Craigslist haul. And by the way, if you guys are saying is my comics going to be bent, no it's not because it's got boarding in here. And there are enough comics to keep us straight in line. Number 169, this one with the Bullseye. Also, I believe it's continuing on with the uh, Elektra series. But what's special about it is the Frank Miller storyline. Continue on with 174, Electra on the cover. 175, how you saw that after. 176, 
181 with Bullseye versus Elektra. We have Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe. Oh, by the way, all the Daredevil ones I got from a Craigslist haul. This one I got from House of Price Books. All right, it's not the greatest condition, but this one is definitely a must have in the collector set. This one I got from Half Price Books is Tops number one. This is the Dracula, Bram Stoker's Dracula. Um, red foil variant. I believe there are only maybe a few thousand produced or maybe even 500. Two more Dracula number four I, that I got from Craigslist. These are quite old guys. Number six, Craigslist again. Got to represent. Number seven, Craigslist. Number nine, Craigslist. These are not in bad condition guys considering how old they are in 20 cents cover price and this one i got oh what a steal from a craigslist haul i think that one averaged like 15 cents i paid for or something like that the other spider verse with the very first appearance of gwen and i mean i meant um spider gwen there we have it first printing fantastic four number 30 this is the oldest probably the second old no, no, this is the oldest Fantastic Four issue I have with the very first appearance of Diablo. I got this a couple years ago from a Christmas haul. Fantastic One 121 with featuring Silver Surfer early on. Silver Surfer, Craigslist. Another Craigslist haul. Fantastic Four number 143, Battling Doctor Doom. Same with this one, number 155. And this flash um, with the very first appearance of. I want to say no, no, zoom. It's not zoom though. It's a uh, black flash. This one I got from a comic book from the bookstore. So that was a great deal. I only pay like I think it's like a dollar or fifty cents, whatever. And this one I got from my half price books, so I paid half of one ninety five. Well, that's steal from that. Craigslist haul. Very first modern zoom. Very nice cover and art. This one, I believe, is from Craigslist Hall with the first supposedly cameo of Zoom. It's the Flash Secret Files and Origins. G.I. Joe number one, I believe, is from a Craigslist Hall. Hulk 272 with uh, first appearance of Sasquatch, I believe, or second appearance. Incredible Hulk 92. When I first saw it, it had. Price books, I was like, man, I was in luck, and surely I was. Awesome cover, just in time to borrow right in the right movie. Great art, by the way. I hope, and here's the second edition, which I got from Half Price Books. I mean, Craigslist Hall. This is the second printing 92 variant. I like this cover way better than this one. do you guys? So I got a couple of these Red Hulk. Uh, I believe it's from... Uh, one is from Craigslist, and another is from Half Price Books. Because I have three of these. Moving on, we have Inhumans number one, baby. Craigslist haul. So Craigslist is definitely representing. You find the best deals. Iron Fist number five. Craigslist. So I'm gonna move a little bit faster. I don't want this to be a long, too long of a video. So I'm, I might not explain too much. So we have uh, Iron Man with the very first appearance of War Machine that I got from, uh, bought from a friend, I believe. And this one I got my own private. Oh, I have three of these? Okay, and I think one is from Clearance. Half Price Books Clearance. Well, I got three issues. Manage World by Fighter, number 12 with the very first appearance of, is it Turok? This one is a uh, Goodwill haul. Man Bat number one, Craigslist. Marvel Team Up Spider Man, Fur First Pants on Mockingbird, Craigslist. Marvel Superheroes, Winter Special, with Very First Pants of Squirrel Girl, Craigslist. And this one is Universe Life Special Custom Edition, Hard to Find, Prelude from uh, Half Price Books. All right, now we get into deep territory. What alphabet are we at now? It looks like. And New Mutants area number two, baby. Oh, I forgot what the key issue is about. And obviously, we already know this. How you saw after the New Mutants 87 of very first appearance of Cable. Oh, this one I got from Half Price Books a couple years ago for $10. 
New Moon is 98. This is my own copy that I bought when it first came out. I wish I bought 10 of those. Nova, number 8, with the very first appearance in, uh, what's the dog? Cosmo. That's right. Half price books. Power Man Iron Fist, number 66, with a second appearance, I think. Uh, Saber Tooth, I want to say. Craigslist. Power Man Iron Fist, 84, Craigslist. Giant Size Power Man, number 1, Craigslist. Luke Cage, that's his costume. We will never see him wear that in the TV series because it's too corny. Oh, highly sought after Marvel Superheroes Secret Wars number 8 with the first appearance of the Black Venom symbiote costume. Craigslist. Very happy to get that too. Sergeant Fury, High in Commandos, 12 cents. Comic right there, very old. Number 15, Craigslist. Civil Server number 5. I'm a huge Silver Surfer fan. I believe he's my probably my favorite character. Crisis. Silver Surfer 44. Now this one I paid $16 from the uh, comic book store. And what's this all black cover? What do you guys see? Probably can't see anything. If you look carefully, it's a solar right here. This one I got from uh, uh, Goodwill as part of a package comic, like $2.99. $2.99, I think. Now, now, trust me, guys. Um, this is a must-have if you're a Valiant lover. I remember when this first came out at a comic book store. I couldn't afford it, and I didn't buy it, and I always, always regret it. But I'm very fortunate to get it in my collection. It was meant to be destiny. Peter Parker, Spider-Man number 64, uh, first cloak and dagger, Craigslist. Star Wars number five. I think I paid like <laughs> half of 35 cents. Because they didn't mark these properly. Uh, half price books. Suicide Squad. Now, this is good stuff, guys. Uh, this is the new 52. I believe this is volume 2. Got these for from Value Village. I believe they charge 99 cents. Number 6 with the origin of Harley Quinn. Uh, same with this. This might be something to do with Harley Quinn. Now, this one... I got from Half Price Books, 25 cents. I rem this is very hard to remove because this is a a hard chromium, almost like aluminum cover. So this is the uh, special variant of the Millennium Edition Superman. I bet you guys never seen that. And of course, speaking of Superman, we got the first cameo of uh, Doomsday, number 17, Man of Steel. My own private collection, I believe. Superman 75, Death of Superman, got them. Must have my own private collection that I bought from a comic book store a long time ago. Thor 131, quite old. This is my earliest issue of Thor. Craigslist. Same with this one, 202. Craigslist. Thor 337, I believe. One is from my own private collection and one that I paid like $3 from Half Price Books. Thor 344, I believe I got this from Half Price Books. Order the Brave. Ultimate Spider-Man number one. Now, let me... Explain a little bit about that. This is the Target variant that I got for 25 cents from Half Price Books. Can you believe that? Now I just want the regular variant. I put this in there because it's highly sought after. It's not the original Walking Dead number one. I wish I have it. But this is the image first. Still hard to find though. Walking Dead 53. What you see is where you get all these first parents. Abraham. Eugene and Rosita, I think. First parents of, uh, man, I forgot the priest's name, whoever he is. 83, No Way Out. There is a significance to it, but I forgot what it was about. <laughs> so you're you about to see a, quite a few of these walking dead, number 91. Uh, somebody dies, I think. Number 92. First parents of Jesus? I'm not sure, man. I'm just pulling these out of my butt. I got doubles of that. Oh, by the way, all of these I got from Half Price Books. I believe. Or was it Craigslist? Anyway, this one is from from a Craigslist haul. Some guy was getting rid of his uh, Walking Dead issues. 100. I believe his first parents of Negan. First parents of 
King, uh, I want to say Solomon, am I right? I'm not sure, 108, one from Half Price Books and one from Craigslist, I think. Got the free number one, this one I got, oh, this one I got free, you guys will not believe it, some guy was giving away his comic book collection, it's also part of my Craigslist haul, yeah, he was just giving out all his comic books, so, mainly he was giving them to kids, but he gave me these uh, more hardcore, you know, uh, violent ones such as Punisher and Wolverine. So I was very happy to get this again. I believe I used to have one and I sold it to a comic book store. Uh, this one, Old Man Logan. Alright, we already watched all the Lo Logan movie that came out. This one I got from Craigslist. Very awesome art. Uh, this, number 80, Wolverine, half price books. First appearance of X-23 in the, in the vial. I believe that's also from Half Price Books. X-Factor number 5. Uh, annual 5. First appearance of somebody. X-Factor number 6 from my own private collection. And another one that I got from Goodwill. I believe I paid like... Uh, $49.99. Alright guys, this is the last folder. And it, I saved the best for last. X-23 with... Um, it's not the first pair of X-23, but this is a one-shot that's low print and hard to find. Must have in the collection. Very nice. Oh, I got this from Value Village for $0.99, cents, something like that. X-Men number 11. This is the oldest X-Men I have. Um, quite old, guys. I got this from Craigslist Hall. We got Uncanny X-Men number 100. Most of these are going to be Craigslist Hall, guys. That's number 100. So we're talking about early issues. Number 126. 127 with Proteus. 128. 129. Got 130 with the first appearance of Diazler, I think. 131 with the White Queen. 132. Hellfire Club. 133. 134. We got Phoenix. 135. Classic cover along with this one. 136. 135. 136. Doubles of that. Still. Craigslist Hall, 137, doubles of that, and this 138 is when Cyclops leaves, this is the X-Men, so I have doubles of that, number 139, Kitty Pride joins I believe, or Shadowcat, got doubles of that, number 140, you got Wendigo, doubles of that, 141, uh, this is back to... Days of Future Past, I believe. Classic cover. Doubles of that again. As you can see, I'm a huge fan of Ken X Men. Amazing Spider Man and Ken X Men are two of my favorite, along with Batman. This is the 142 with the Sentinel. Again, doubles of that. You got 143. Doubles. 158 with Rogue, I believe. One of the early appearances of Rogue. She was with the bad guys before she turned good. Doubles of that. Number 171. Welcome to X-Men Rogue. That's when Rogue joins. Then doubles of that. 201. Um, who will lead the X-Men? Doubles. Number 210. Wolfring vs. Sabretooth with 212. With, uh, uh, it's not R for Adams. Oh, I forgot the, his name, the artist's name. Number one, what's this? 213, Sabretooth, classic Wolverine for Sabretooth cover. And Star Wars 221, the very first appearance of Mr. Sinister. That's going to be hot. I believe he's supposed to be in the next. No, it's supposed to be Dark Phoenix. They wanted to do Mr. Sinister. They need to do that. 222, another classic Wolverine for Sabretooth. Uh, number 244, I believe, is the first appearance of Jubilee. Uh, one is from my own private collection. One, I believe, that I got from Half Price Books clearance section. 
Now, my own private collection, 248. This is the first Jim Lee uh, art. Now, this one was Steel. Very first appearance of Gambit. Got from Craigslist Hall way back then. That was one of my... Actually, that was probably my best haul. I think I, this was like 10 cents if I average up what I paid for the whole haul. It was ridiculous. X-Men number 14 on the first... first hmm... First camera of Gambit, I think. And last but not least, guys, it's Exo Man of War number four with the first appearance of. Oh, is it Shadow Man? Or is it Harbinger? I forgot. But anyway, I got that from uh, Goodwill Hall for a spectacular price. Like, this power sell like four, three ninety nine dollars or something like that. So, hope you guys enjoy this rare video. I only do this once a year. Who knows? Maybe I would increase the five folders. By the end of this year so the next episode is going to be in 2018 thanks for watching go ahead and click on the subscribe button if you want to watch more exciting comic book hauls until next time take care of yourselves and your comic books